And welcome back to Let's Play Try Princess for me, Swift. Um, <coughs> yeah, I decided to take the flight by foul minigame method of getting down. Right. By the way, you don't have to go straight. When you're flying, there's actually little edges like this that you can fly around on, that you can land on. Uh, some of them have got roopers on, some of them have just got other cuckoos on. So, I know there's there's one of them around here which has got 100 roopers on it somewhere. Can't remember where. Anyway, this is used to fly over there early. Which, you can just run there anyway. There's a heart piece there, but I'll get it a later part. At this point in the game, I've got zero out of five heart pieces on this heart container. But, I'll get it after the dungeon. I'll, after this dungeon and little mini quest thing. Because it's a lot faster to get the pieces then. i just pick up this. 50 rupees, yay! It's because one of the heart pieces requires a thousand rupees. And the other one requires a thousand, but we only need about 800 now. And the reason I'm not getting them now is soon we get something very handy which will help us get around faster. And therefore it will be easier and quicker to get the heart pieces then. So by now we could have 11 and 3 fits, and in the dungeon there's 2 fits, giving us 10 hearts. But I've decided I'm going to get them later. Right, this is where you want, want the water bombs for. Put iron boots on and come here. Where's this crap thing? And put a bomb on it. So yeah, I'll get the next heart container after I've after I've got the next after I've got the item after this dungeon. Because it does this dungeon. Right, just put another water bomb. Does this dungeon and then something else. Like air current should carry it up. And boom. Yeah, so, on last time, um, we can have more heart pieces at this point, but I'll get them later when we get a method of getting around quicker. It's not that far off. It's after this dungeon, actually. Right, anyway, just swing through here. <coughs> Fight the enemies if you want, but I'm not going to bother. And here we are at Lakebed Temple, the third dungeon in this game. There's some chews around here. Pick up a chew if you need. If you scoop it with a bottle when it's dead, you can carry it around. I'd carry a red one with you if you think you need it. Yeah, you can heal off these if you need it. More water bombs. That's why you only buy five, because you do find more in this dungeon. Oh, another chest. Yeah. Come on, grab, get the chest boy. Yay! <coughs> and now you get arrows. Right, the reason we're giving water bombs and arrows is because we do need bomb arrows coming up. By the way, if a chew touches another chew, they'll fuse and they'll turn into a bigger chew. Big chew. And anyway, yeah, they'll. It just keeps getting bigger, so you just got to cut it to divide it again, and then kill the parts. Might need to grab that switch. Mission complete. It's actually so the I find out to point this out, it's actually coming from like ten year old. <laughs> Basically I was just playing this and he's watching and it just it just suddenly came out with Cause so it's like, wow Link actually opens the doors himself on this one. And I'm like, well yeah. And he's like we're done on the others. And then that actually it actually occurred to me that Legends of the Triad Princess is actually the only game where Link opens the dungeon doors himself. <laughs> Surprised how many people don't actually notice that. It's actually the only Zelda game where he actually opens the door himself. Because I can't know all the others got like automatic doors. Anyway, well that's treacherous. Oh, don't you think you want to knock down the slack tax hanging off the ceiling first? I'm already doing that. They don't like to be very stable. I bet they'd break pretty easily for him with enough force, don't you think? Yeah, just let me carry on doing what I was doing. Yeah, just shoot down the slack tax. 
got a lot better aim in this than having Wind Waker. <laughs> yeah, my Wind Waker had terrible aim. Alright, onwards. In the mist. <laughs> Alright, we don't want to waste bombs just in case we do need them later. I do remember there being some chests in here, but we'll get them out. <laughs> I'll get lost. Yeah, those guys are annoying, you got hit them from behind, I think. Though we do get an item later that makes them easier to kill. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a chest in this room, but I can just get it later. Or is it over there? I might be up there. Yeah, it's up there. Yay! Not sure if it's the only chest, though. By the way, if you would have bombs, go outside and there's some Zoras swimming around, they'll sell you bombs. Yeah, even more bombs. And arrows. <coughs> yeah, we will get more bomb bags later. You can get them at this point, but yet again, it's a lot easier if you just wait until we finish this dungeon. So, you can go off and get all the bomb bags now, and even the expansion if you want, but it's a lot less hassle to get it later. Out of the way, stupid lizard thing. Finish it. <coughs> well, that was over fast. And this is where the dungeon gets complicated. As with all water temples. Yeah, water temples in Zelda games are, are well known for being the most confusing or hardest dungeon in games. In Zelda games. It's always the water temple. Well, usually. Getting quite a bit of goopers in here. Ah, <laughs> no, you can't grab a switch if there's stairs in front of it. Just to be awkward, that is. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but I really can't remember this dungeon now. So sorry if I get lost on it. But that's just how water temples will work. I think it's down here, yeah. Yeah, if you press A to let go, press A again. Oh, I've got to show you this little little extra thing. I've got to show you this. Right, if you go fishing in the water temple. I just love this because I I just suddenly realised it's Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Cause I saw fish swimming around it and I just got curious and wondered what had happened. So if you fish in it, <laughs> you caught a skull fish. It looks stronger than it is. This fish is forbidden, so it won't be added to your fish journal. Release it with it. <laughs> it's kind of like a little Easter egg, that. Plus, it's easy to kill them. You fish them out and then just kill them. <laughs> kind of like a little Easter egg, that, because it won't add it to your journal, because it's a forbidden fish. <laughs> I just thought that was like a little neat extra. It's like little skullfish piranha things that try and eat you. Right, we're supposed to go up one of these vines, and I've just fallen into piranha infested water. Right, wh which way did I come down? Is it this one? No, this is... Yeah. We need to go down one and up the other. So uh, yeah, a little extra for you. <laughs> you go fishing in the water in the Lake Bed Temple, you catch one of them. But I want to keep one, it looks so cute and friendly. Oh, yeah, this is the right one, I think. Oh no. Oh, great. Did I come up the wrong one, or am I forgetting one? Yeah, my memory's bad. I don't think we were supposed to do that. Well, I'm lost already. That's the best start ever to a dungeon. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a chest? Anyway, let's see where we can go. Yeah, let's just go through here for now. <coughs> I think, yeah, this is the wrong way. Yeah, because that's locked. Yeah. I hate water temples. Oh, a chest. 
At least we're getting something out of this part. More arrows. <coughs> out of the way, stupid thing. Oh, a switch. Let's pull it. Well, at least we got some new way open. Ow. Yeah, rolling upstairs, not a good idea. We. Out of the way, you. Mm, looks like this might be the right way. Anyway, good cut off point here, so. See you next part where we continue to get lost in this place. <laughs>